So this video is going to be about sources of the European Union law. It's going to be very quick and kind of scruffy. First thing that you need to understand is the difference between uh, the different types of EU law. So we've got them listed at the top here. Um, first things first, we have to think about treaties. So this is the primary legislation of the EU. It's a binding agreement between the EU and any member countries. So at the moment, between us, the UK, and the EU. So these set out the objectives, so the main aims of the EU and the rules for the institutions, how decisions are made, and the relationship between the EU and its member states. We also have regulations. Um, these are issued by the Council of the European Union, and they are binding on member states and automatically apply. And finally, at the bottom there, we have uh, directives. These are also issued by the Council of the European Union, but they have to, the member states have to bring these into their own law so that there's harmony across the EU. But as member states, we get to decide how this is done. So what we also need to look at is what is direct applicability and what is direct effect. So direct applicability, and as you can see, treaties, regulations have direct applicability. This means that a member state doesn't need to bring this law um, into their own law, it automatically comes across. And as you can see, regulations, treaties have direct applicability, but directives down at the bottom don't. The other thing that we need to look at is something which is known as direct effect. Um, direct effect is when an individual can rely on an EU law in their own member state law. So an individual, a member of the UK, can rely on an EU law in the UK court, so the Supreme Court, the Court of Appeal. Um, this is split up into horizontal and vertical direct effect. Horizontal direct effect is when you as an individual are going up against somebody on the same level as you, so another individual, another company. Whereas vertical direct effect is when you're going up against somebody above you, so a state a part of the state. So some case law just to finish us off. So treaties, the case that you're going to want to have a look at is McCarthy and Smith and it states that you can directly rely on an EU treaty in the UK courts. So McCarthy and Smith was about um, equality in terms of pay, gender and pay. Retachographs shows us that regulations automatically come into force. So you remember retachographs was about the UK government hadn't implemented the regulation to uh, ensure that all lorry drivers had a tachograph in their vehicle, which is a device which measures how long you've been driving for. Um, the UK didn't do it and we got taken to court and we lost. Finally, we have directives at the bottom. Marshall and Southampton uh, demonstrates when you've got an individual against the state and in this case the claimant could rely on an unimplemented directive against part of the state and we've got Duke and GEC reliance an individual cannot usually rely on an unimplemented directive against another individual or company so that's everything and hopefully you've got a better idea now about the sources of the European Union law